One thing I did forget to show you, with bread, they have something called the window pane test. You want to make sure that the glutens are where they should be. So if you can pull up a piece and you can almost see through it, like a window pane, um, that's when you know you're in pretty good shape to have a bread that's going to do well. So you want to make sure you do the window pane test before you finish. Okay, we're ready for the next step. These things have been sitting around for a couple of hours and they're puffed up and they are ready to finally go in the oven after all of this work. So I'm going to take the plastic off, I'm going to wet them down, and then I'm going to slit them on the tops and I'm going to really quickly put them in the oven. Here we go. Take these little stands off. Oops, oh no. There we go. Okay, normally I would take it over to the sink, but I'm just going to go ahead and use this uh, bowl. Just wet them so there'll be some steam happening. I said I was probably going to eat the rolls for, for one of the buns for one of the loaves this week. The, the reality is that everything will probably be gone tomorrow. Easter dinner. We shall see. So let me do the rolls real quick. This is the, it's actually a double edged razor blade. It's about the sharpest thing you can get that you put in an old fashioned razor. So let's slit them. And they are on parchment paper. I didn't mention that before. I think I mentioned it at the very beginning. Here they go. Little minion buns going into the oven. 425 degrees. And I do this one this way, we'll do this one this way. Okay, so this is what they look like. They're gonna, can't get this right. Okay. These are going in the oven. 30, 32, 35 minutes. Very exciting. See you soon.